Supporters of Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi yesterday shot down Birini Kebi, Kebi State, converses support to strengthening the Obi Darty ticket in the state. The event, which led at Kamba Ho, with a huge number of obedient across tribe and religion, was attended by the National Secretary of Labour Party, Omar Ibrahim, the officials of Nigerian Labour Congress, NC, NLC, KB Chapter, the movement for OB and other Labour Party candidates, among others. According to the chairman of KB, the NLC, Omar, who was the chief host, the Labour Party has come to rescue Nigerians from its current story state, adding that the party belongs to NRC and knows no religion or tribe. The Labour Party, subscribe Abraham, expressed satisfaction over the turnout in support of the Obidarti presidential bid. He said Peter Obi, when elected, will stabilize the country ensure responsible government devoid of nepotism and fix the economy and security situation as well as other sectors in the country. The Labour Party will take the lion's share of the country's 89 million votes, he boasted, adding, we need a country where every citizen will sleep peacefully, where every child will go to school. Meanwhile, the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Kaduna State Chapter, has said that Christians have not concluded on whom to vote for in the 2023 presidential election, but have concluded on whom not to vote for in order not to divide the nation. The chairman, Reverend John, disclosed this on Sunday evening at a special prayer and political stroke security service in Kaduna. Event held at Evangelical Church winning all. English service Sabon Tash was organized by Kaduna Khan to update and guide Christians under her care on contemporary issues. He explained that Christians concluded not to vote for Muslim Muslim tickets in 2023. According to him, Nigeria is faced with all kinds of dangerous inhuman activities and challenges of insecurity, stroked by nepotism, which led to so many complaints from different quarters. He said, prior to 2023, Nigeria is going through terrible challenges of insecurity and division across the land. Nigerians have complained across board the kind of nepotism that we found in the way leadership is being constituted in the country. Those are the key sensitive issues that are causing all this crisis that we want. This or that balance, they are there. Because of nepotism, we have incapable people leading Nigeria, executing every important things for Nigeria, which is not helping us. So Nigerians are saying they want competent and inclusive leaders who understand their yearnings and who can deliver them. Nigeria belongs to all, irrespective of zone, tribe, or religion, he said. Over 50 pastors and church leaders attended the program. Hmm. Well, we are watching to see how this we go the truth is that nigerians are tired nigerians are tired of the situation we have found ourselves this obidarty is a movement across the nation before 2023 god must have opened the eyes of the remaining few to embrace this movement you understand we are truly in urgent need for a better nigeria this will not be said because Peter will be come from a is an Igbo man, and that is the reason why he will not be voted as the next president of Nigeria. If we look at look at it that way, that means no nothing else should be voted as 
as, as, as a president too, because we should be afraid that the bandits and Boko Haram will come and take over Nigeria, because that is what most of them are using. Peter Obi is from the Southeast, and the agitation for Biafra Nation is, is going on over there. What about the northern part of the country when bandits and Boko Haram have taken over there? So are we safe? They should tell us if voted for a northerner, why, 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 how are we sure that these people will not come and take over our land as they are trying to do? So let's forget about tribalism. Let's forget about religion and do the needful. Just look at these people carefully. They are the most qualified candidate for this job. Make we just tell ourselves the truth. They are the most qualified candidate for this job. That seat is very demanding. No, not be waiting person could just enter. You understand? Look at those people. I don't just want to say things about people here, but you know what I am talking about. That seat is very demanding. So it needs someone who is energetic. It needs someone who is intelligent, who knows how to fix things. You understand? That is why I am not happy. Most times I see our politicians when they invite them for interview. They will leave what they will do. They will leave what they will, uh, they will tell us, like telling us how they are going to better the country, what they will do, the way they are going to take the steps and all that. And they will start talking about their opponent, start talking about Peter Obi's candidacy and all that. Tell us what you can do and tell us how you are going to do it and tell us why we should vote for you. The truth is that from now to 20, okay, from now to the end of this year, so many persons are going to decamp APC and PDP. These people that will decamp will shock you. This is politics for you. They are watching the, the scenario. I am dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.